right, we're down here for JS and Billabong surfing a winter day. We got Aki, Parko, and JS himself down here on the beach. The boys about to head out in the water for a heat. It's on. Team Aki, Team Parko, you have 60 minutes. Five guys, 12 minutes, two waves. Did he get into Joel's head? I already am. I'll, I'll go last or whatever, and then, um, and then I'll just zoom in here or whatever. <laughs> Aki versus Parko, let's do this. You about to destroy Team Aki. It's gonna go down. And you get the big score. <laughs> We're ready. I've got weapons, four weapons with me. Gonna carry me through, so. Yeah, we've got some rippers. Yeah, we've got the big Grom. He's gonna <laughs> get the big score. Or should you go first? No. Don't want to say anything too early, but the Parkinson team is going down. It's really sick. Nice wedgies. Oh, look at that airy burst. You kidding me? Hockey's giving Team Parker a bit of a flog in. Just the pressure got to him, the pressure. Joel, you gotta pick this game up, boy. Pressure's on. I think it's pretty much over. Yeah. Today, we have some special guests here joining us. Jason Stevenson, who is uh, JS Surfboards, and we've got Joel Parkinson, and we're also lucky enough to have Marco Galupo, who we're going to catch up with a little bit later on. You know what? I haven't had a bad surf since I've retired, you know? <laughs> I enjoy not surfing as aggressive, yeah. but more for, more for me. And I don't really ride my normal shortboard anymore that I used to ride. I, I kind of I felt like I... Uh, I'd had enough of riding that, um, and I've really been chasing lots of different feelings and speed. Hasn't and had a bad surfboard since he retired. Yeah, I haven't had a bad. I haven't had many actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was getting yeah, hundred yeah. a year, and I'm yeah. down to about ten now. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. if that. <laughs> Well, you know, I didn't catch any good ones, but the kids ripped, and uh, that's what it was all about. We won. I just get old memories, you know, like coming back to America, and it subconsciously just gets in me, and I just want to rip, you know. And <laughs> like that day, I thought I was ripping, but no one said anything, so I was like. Bullseye and the Raging Bull, it's from one feet to six feet, it's got you really covered. It has, and it comes back to JS being too lazy to make enough of them, doesn't it? <laughs> Come on, JS. The kids ripped, uh, they really surfed well. Joel's team had a bit of a shocker. It was good to take Joel down in any way, shape, or form when it comes to surfing. It's a good thing for me because he's probably got my number. I'm sure he does, yeah. Mate, it was a great vibe down there and um, everywhere we've been have been amazing people down here in Oceanside and beach day was really fun so hopefully we can do it again and uh, I don't have to listen to Oki you know, for another year or so before I can get back and win my trophy.
my board worked well and I'm so stoked to be back. When I came on a JS, working here, the easy rider dimensions, you know, and it's just great how you've made that for the, uh, you know, surfers, say, going into their 30s or, you know, probably not match fit. I can't get involved in that conversation. I haven't got there yet, so. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> you're kidding yourself. <laughs> you have got there. I just haven't told you you got there. You know, it's been 25 years from the beginning and, you know, we try and make a surfboard that, you know, wherever you live in the world or wherever you surf or however you surf that, there's one for you. That's right. Run the Black Baron, uh, 5'9", 31 litres, yeah. thing's sick. My name's Lucas. I'm 17 years old. I live in Oceanside, California. I write for JS. Uh, some of my hobbies include surfing. I like working on my truck and uh, I enjoy fishing and um, hanging out with friends over here in Oceanside. So looking out a few years down the road, like where do you see yourself you know, in the surf world and, and also you know, on a, a personal level, like where do you see yourself? So I'm doing the QS events right now, so making the Challenger Series within this next two years is a big goal of mine. I'd love to do that and um, feeling very confident, especially when I have JSs under my feet. Understanding uh, competitive surfing better and going through the tears of it. Yeah. Out of all your team riders, who is the easiest to deal with and who's the hardest? Joel was the easiest. Oh, I'll that's, take that. No, nah, that's hands down. <laughs> we'll go with Luke Hegan's got to be the hardest. <laughs> you know, the community's really come out. Um, you know, just Friday night was amazing had everyone here and had everyone had a good time and you know we are a global brand and we we want to be part of the community you know we're just you know we're not just a, you know Aussie brand and not Aussie surf store sitting in Oceanside we're just we're Oceanside. We are so lucky to be joined by legendary surf photographer Steve Sherman. The biggest part of being an artist is making people happy yeah. and them enjoying what you do and uh, that's one thing I get from these the most is just people really enjoying what I do and coming up saying nice things. Yeah. And I couldn't be happy artistically, you know, I did the whole thing and then I did a little quick little um, talk story with the boys. And, um, very fun, very fun. Very fun and people seem to like that and um, yeah, it was a great night. You guys took the win. We took him down. Hey Joel, sorry, we, we had big money on it and I just got to get it out of him. It was packed and you know, it's hectic for me because I mean, people are coming up wanting photos and autographs. I mean, can't complain because that just keeps me going, you know. Um. The one thing about the garage, oh, it, it's for surfers by surfers. Now I know that's a bit of a cliche, we've all heard that before, but it really is. We're about to round out 2022. What's the plans in short term and long term if you want? Bro, are you kidding me? I'm going back on the QS. <laughs> I'm as dedicated as ever to making sure that, you know, there's a full JS team back on tour and having a crack. As we are too, mate. And what about you, Joel? Mate, uh, I'll just get through this year. And then <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, mate, I'll, uh, next year I'm really, I think, starting to really get the travel bug, the itch back, and especially my family. And, uh, yeah, we'll get through this year and then I think next year we'll do as much travelling and try and fit in as many surfs as I can along the way. You know, for me, it's just surfing as much as I can, having fun with the kids and um, just staying healthy and surfing is, that's all I'm after. All right, guys, there it is. We're going to 
wrap it up here with the Surf Into Winter Weekend. I'm so lucky to be here with Mark Ocalupo, Joel Parkinson, Steve Sherman collaboration was on the Friday night, JS was here as well. We're gonna sign off, but thank you so much and stay tuned for the next show. You never know. Never know. A Challenger never series, know. watch out. <laughs>